Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity 2. <gasps> Dead fire. We are out here at the Brass Citadel, not where I was hoping to be at all, because of one simple reason. I went out here to go over to Periki's Overlook and Queen's Bareth to, you know, check out the vendor there, turn in stuff to, or get ready to turn in stuff at Kestel and rest up, because we've got the bruised ribs, and ran into a little hootenanny here. Let's head on over to... I guess we'll go to... Hmm. Let's see, what time is it currently? Yeah, we'll go to Queen's Bareth in general. And then we will run over to the headquarters and then sleep. Right? Because the headquarters actually does close at a certain point. Anyway, yeah, here we go. Now this, as soon as I saw this pop up, I was just, just like, alright, I'm gonna look away from the screen and just spam the one button as much as possible until I can escape out of it. Alright. A crowd congests the tunnel ahead of you. There we are. Oh, gosh, that loading screen took forever. Anyway, we are back. A confusing network of natural and kith-hewn tunnels run between the Brass Citadel and the Gullet. Most of the larger thoroughfares are well-traveled and familiar, but the narrower branches that spread from them are confusing, are a confusing muddle of twisting halls and dead ends. A tunnel along your path is collapsed, a giant rock, its new immovable door. Laborers mill about it, but there seems little actual labor occurring. You might be able to find another way through the city, but the detour could take hours. Alright, let's speak to him. The Raparu mutter among themselves, but grow quiet and avert their gazes at your approach. The Kuaru foreman glances up from a slat of palm and raises a hand. Greetings, noble watcher. We work to fix this tunnel, but for now then, the way is closed. He bows his head. The servants of Nekataka always apologize for any difficulty or delay. What happened? Intimidate check. It'll stay closed at this rate. Get these people to work. Jesus. Religion check. Remember that with nothing but time and water, Andra reshapes entire continents. What does that mean? What does that mean? That we should just hang out until Andra, like, whooshes it away? <laughs> I think I can help. Find a route around the collapse. What happened? One of the Raparu shakes his head. Surely you felt it, Ikira. A great drone. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no, that was our doing. Uh-oh. A great dragon went and flew over the island. It shook the whole city. The Kuaru frowns at the speaker and waves the Aumawa off. You, go be quiet. He returns his attention to you. They know better than to blunt their teeth at their betters. The servants of Nekataka always apologizes for any inhospitality, inhospitality or offense. He provides another obsequious bow. Hmm. Can I help? How can I help? I think I can help. The Kuaru's eyes widen. But Watcher, the city given us this task. We stay working. You need not lift your fingers. Oh look, a might check. Send someone to push the slab out of the path. Hammer and chisel. Use a hammer and chisel to break the slab in two. Reconsider your options. Hmm. I mean, we could definitely pass the might check. Right? Eh, let's do it. Might check. Why not? Ooh, do I want to do it myself? Although my character has 20 might, I don't really identify my character as being physically capable. Hmm. Let's go with Adair. I definitely... Adair, I definitely am like, yeah, he's he's a tough fucking dude. He used to work on a farm. He used to be uh, sort of a soldier in a way. Yeah, Adair. Hey, success. Adair organizes the work, but accepts the brunt of the heavy lifting. Soon, the massive stone growls over the smaller rocks beneath it powdering each one with a satisfying crunch. The tunnel entrance howls softly as the wind begins to carry through it once more. One of the workers cheers, but the foreman slaps him upside the head. Jeez, I'll do an intimidate check on the fucking foreman. One hour passed. A musty wind whistles across your face. Ooh, shit. 
a seaborne stench on its breath bearing a bleeding clamor from the darkness, a cacophony of mindless chittering and chirping. For a moment, you think you hear someone snapping their fingers. The shadows before you split and twist erratically, congregating and dissolving again before resolving into a bedlam of leathery wings. <laughs> oh no! How do they sound again? Dark home is new home! As tears a shrill voice before you. A screech from one of the many imps crowding the tunnel. Leave! They flock forward, hideous cave bats fleeing before them, and towards you. The Hoana scatter in terror, leaving you to the beasts. Alright, let's fuck them up. Oh. Oh goodness. Wow, there are a lot of them. Okay. Here, let's turn our, on our detailed descriptions and stuff. Man, I'm still getting used to this keyboard. It's gotta be said, I'm... It's on still, uh, on occasion, like, when it comes to otter keys, I, I fucking look down at my keyboard. <laughs> Fuck, because I use that old one forever. Forever and ever, and now, even though this one, I mean, it's, it has some slight differences, and it's enough to throw me off. Alright, let's head on over here. Buff Adair up as well. Good. Let's have Palagina get the Drake out. We should be fine gunning down a whole bunch of imps and cave bats. Yeah. Alright. Everyone's looking great. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go for Brine Imp. Okay. And let's have Seraphin roll on over here. Good, good, good. And Adair, you keep attacking right there. Great. And Palagina, get on up in there. Oh, whoops, we totally cancelled out her cast. <laughs> oh, shit. It's fine. If anything, you know what? We should do just a paralysis instead. I'm sure that'd work perfectly fine. Yeah, look at that. There we are. Fantastic. Okay. Let's actually swap to our fourth set here. Because we can blow them all up, can't we? Especially with them all paralyzed and stuff. Yeah. There we are. Let's do this. Well, didn't quite work out as well as I had thought, but you know what? It was worth let's a go. shot. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's go for this cave bat who's oh, yes, disliking, <laughs> giving me a big thumbs down. <laughs> All right. And then another cave bat here. What was that? This thing isn't doing the job. What was that shit? Ooh, my goodness. All right. Let's go on over here. Get this imp. Take care of you. And let's swap back to our initial set. Take care of this imp up here. We're all kind of spread out, but it's fine. They're so easy. Oh, good. There we are. Great. Another attack, Cap. See you. Get this one. Great. Cool. Eh, easy enough. A lot of imp loot, I guess. All right, man, sure. it's been a while since we've seen, like, a section that looks kind of like the gullet, right? Yeah, we are in the gullet. Okay. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I think I did see part of this when I was doing my thumbing through real quick. Because, of course, I had to pause the game. All right. Let's see. Anything over here? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Weird. Can we go up here, actually? Oh, look. Oh, no, okay, I see. Yeah, just another gateway. Let's see, should we go to Queen's Bear then? Yeah, how about that? Alright. Yeah, I think we did get all of them done. It's just that... I guess doing that quest activated some more, right? Probably might continue happening. I don't know. I'm Part of me is just waiting for the shoe to drop a Nekataka and shit to, like, start really going buck wild, right? Like, all sorts of wild stuff just start popping off. Some sort of fucked up stuff attacking or something and just have random encounters in the city streets that way. Expecting that to occur. Alright, we are back. Let's head on over to the VTCHQ. 
and take care of business there before they close. All right. Let's see. We do need to speak with Castal. Should we go through all of his dialogue again? I don't know. We did read through it, but honestly, I've kind of forgotten a fair bit of it. <laughs> and it may be necessary to remember some for the next quest. All right. Whatever he gives us afterhand. Uh, I guess... Yeah, we'll we'll look through it. We'll we'll actually listen to it all. It was quite a bit though, wasn't it? Ooh. Man. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done this situation where I just read through all this stuff just to see. Oh well, no, we did our due diligence, right? In trying to keep with not siding with them, right? We're trying to walk a thin line at the moment. Maybe it'll bite us in the butt. Honestly, I'd be kinda into that. If it backfired. Alright. VDCHQ, upper level. We'll speak with Castol, get his next quest, all that good shit. If anything, right now I'm kind of weirded out by how little the Principe is currently involved in this, but I suppose the idea is that we are, like, we had sets of quests from each faction, right? We already did the Principe ones, we did the Hoana ones. So now we're kind of cleaning out the VTC and RDC quests, right? All right. Director Castell? You've been a great assistant to us in the city, I hear. A great many uh, glowing reports. Now then, did you uh, have a reason for coming by? I took care of things at the bathhouse. Bar what did you discover? Quarno is selling gunpowder and weapons to the Principe. Diverus? That is worse than I suspected. Please, explain. Spare me no details. We will spare him as many details as possible. Corno is smuggling Royal Deadfire Company munitions. Tola is planning on using Royal Deadfire Company weapons against a Valian trading company. Convoy carrying Luminous Adra. Hmm. Yeah, that's all. I had hoped you would learn something more substantial. It will have to be enough. I will put my people to work. All right. Delfetto Watcher. Already our partnership proves fruitful. Okay, great. And then, let's Watcher. talk to him again. What can I do for you? Oh, that's all for I'll me. answer what I can, of course. Oh, okay, that's all for now. Director Castell inclines his head, smiling well, pleasantly. Then. Farewell. See ya. Let's get on out of here. And we need to hit up the inn. Rest up real quick. We've also got a level, but I think we can put it off, right? We should be fine to do that. Yeah, we'll head over to the inn, get a nice rest in, take care of our bruised ribs, and then... We need to set sail, because guess where Fleetmaster Okaya is? You know, who we need for turning in the Sayuka quest. Dude is in Sayuka! <laughs> There's a Fleetmaster's office, lounge, something like that, in Sayuka as well. And totally just whoosh, went right by it like a dingus. So we'll have to hit all that shit up. Here we are. Head on out here, over to the Wild Mare real quick. And we should get some kind of extra discount for how often we rest at the Wild Mare. I think it might be our most rested at location, including if we just group together Wilderness as well as like a generic location that, that encompasses everything. I think we have rested at the Wild Mare the most times of anything. Well, I don't know, because there was a while where we were resting in the gullet for a bit. Hmm. Man, I bet you could have put off doing the gullet quest for a while, right? Maybe you didn't have to do those right away, and you could have started working right away for the VTC or the RDC. All right. Now, what can I do for you? You see anything you like? All right, I would like to... Yeah, private dance room. There we go. Man, it's so cheap, though. All right, good, skip that. And then we need to head on... Yep, we're all looking great. We have to head on out over to... Sayuka, right? Barring any random interruptions and encounters along the way. I wonder if this will be the, the end of things in Sayuka. We may have to... You know what? We may have to come back and report... Back to... Nakataka. <laughs> Fuck, we're at a stage where there's just a lot of going back and forth now, huh? Alright. We're kind of like in an in-between moment, it feels like. Like, probably the next step of the main quest will be at another area with multiple side quests and all that at uh, 
What was it? Magwin's Mall or something like that? He waits in fire. Ashen Maw. Magwin's Teeth. Gotcha. Alright. Head on over this way. Back to our ship. Good, good, good. Alright. Let's get on out of here. At long last. Leave by... C. Here we go. Good. Alright, here we are. Ready to head on out back to Sayuka. Now, where was it again? Yeah, right up here. You know, we should finally clear out this fog of war. There's like this little peninsula of fog of war right there. I don't know. I'm pretty keen on just wiping all of it out. Alright, man, look at how quick we're going. It's such a change of pace from how we were throughout most of the game. Thanks to all these, like, travel speed upgrades. Alright, there we go. Because we don't really need, you know, combat speed upgrades at all, because we hardly ever mess around with any of the ship-to-ship -ship combat, for better or worse. Right? Let's see. Let's head over to Fleetmaster's quarters. Here we are. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, I feel like the sh the ship to ship combat was was not great, right? I feel like it, it's just it takes too long and it's just not engaging enough. I don't know. I feel like it's it's fun once like two or three times, sure, but doing it every time, like all the bounties that we had to do, I don't know. Especially compared to the regular real time with pause combat, which I feel like is pretty pretty fun, right? I quite enjoy it. Anyway. Fleet Master Okaya. Let's see, should we actually get a refresher on what we're supposed to say here, or... Nah, we don't need to. I hope your effort to resolve the Coral situation is meeting with success. I dealt with the magical disturbance at the root of your Coral pro problem. You've brightened my day considerably. We should have the port in working order as soon as the remaining Coral is cleared. Ah, before I forget, Atsura would like to see you at the Brass Citadel. Oh, you motherfucker. Okaya pauses, her hand outstretched like she meant to pull you aside, then reconsiders. With a shake of her head, she continues. Though he appears placid on the surface, Atsura is not a patient man. Oh, I wonder if this is another situation where it's letting us know that we're kind of timed. Now. Alright, farewell. Let's see, that's really ah, it? the Hazanui's favorite. It's good to see you again. You found me with a rare spare moment. Alright, farewell. Okay, let's get out of here and back to the fucking Brass Citadel. Good god. <laughs> we fucking knew it would happen. We fucking called it. Good god. And there's not even any fun bounties along the way. You know what? We will go up north and cut through that Fog of War Peninsula. Right? We're here. We may as well do it. We're in the area. We've got food and drink to spare. Let's fucking do it. Let's get that shit. I'm ready for it. Let's see. Head on out over here. To our little skiff. Good. You know, it really seems like a massive mistake, though. You know, from a resources perspective. To end the giant things, right? Because wasn't their whole purpose for heading up, hitting up Sayuka and living here? And, like, building the base in Sayuka is so they would have extra shit for research. So now with the machine destroyed, they don't really have that access anymore, do they? They can't either harvest those resources in mass. They don't have all the food supplies from, like, harpooning or whatever, doing, taking down bigger than normal fish. All that stuff. Was it really worth it just to clear out the dock for some extra coral or whatever? I don't know. Like, sure, I definitely, like, from the standpoint of getting, just, yeah, let's get rid of that sh Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Yo, what the fuck? Look at all the RDC junks out here. <gasps> oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, dear. Should we go over there? Wow, there are so many of them. Huh. That seems not good. 
Granted, Crooksburg is terrible, right? Hmm, I don't know how to feel. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we need to go over there. We'll cut through this fog of war, and then we'll go over there and see if we can interact with them in some way. Right? Oh, that's so cool. I would not have noticed that if, if we hadn't opened up the map like that. Oh, man, look at them all over there. There are so many. Wasn't there another stage of a quest, the main quest even, where we got, like, hounded by the entirety of the RDC? I think so, right? When was that? It was right after Hasango, wasn't it? I think so. Let's head over here. Yo, what are you all doing here? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's do a quick save. I feel like I'm right on the edge of vilifying myself with the Principe, even though I really do not. Oh look. Crooksburg is a sliver of land at your back when you see a fleet approaching. They are Rawatine warships, bristling with cannons, moving at high speed. They near you, and a familiar figure doffs his cap and raises his voice in greeting. Oh my god. Why is he out here? God, how did he sound again? He sounded like kind of a doofus in some, in some ways, didn't he? Watcher! Is that really you? Kanarua grins at you with unabashed delight, shouldering past the ship's bewildered captain to lean over the railing of the ship for a better look. Yeah, this totally makes sense that we would encounter him, right? Kana! Who is that? Oh, not you again. <laughs> Kana! I should have known I'd find you here. Anywhere that's anywhere worth seeing, I know you'll turn up. And with my sister. Are you enjoying life as an adventurer, Maya? What would mother say? Oh, <laughs> Connor shakes his head. He didn't say it like, What would mother say? She'd say there isn't enough ocean between us yet. What are you doing here? Singing the troops to sleep? Maya grins across at him. Ishiza perches on the railing and lets out a joyful squawk. Like baby lambs, armed, dangerous, smelly little lambs. Kana waves a hand at Ashiza, waggling his fingers. It's good to see you. Where have you been? I have to go. <laughs> where have you been? What else? Shouldn't he say where else? What else? Chronicling everything that happens. They weren't keen on my coming here, but I made a fuss. And well... Who's going to tell the Emperor's favorite chanter he can't go off to war? Stick around long enough and Rawatai will run out of parchment. Brevity, man! Maya chuckles into her hand. Or was that her talking to him? Let's see. Won't the Law College be surprised to hear your name again? Kana grins toothily. They'll call it contrived, but the truth is... Sometimes life really is that strange. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's them I guess in a way lampshading the inclusion of Kana here. But no, I think it I think it makes sense. It's fair. It's good to see you. I really did miss you, you know, all of our adventures. Which is why I knew you weren't dead. The <laughs> Lord of Cadnua killed? Nonsense. After what? Escaping that collapsing ice cavern? Oh, with regards to the White March, right? Defeating not one, but three dragons! Thwarting the gods themselves! And then this is my, I guess. Kana, I sailed across the world to escape your babble. Maya points at him and lifts her brow in warning. Only for you to be squished by a giant foot. Absurd. That's not how the story goes. Kana folds his arms. I have to go. Do take care of him, Maya. Remember, you're supposed to be the responsible one. Kana wags a finger. I don't know, brother. I can be... I can get pretty reckless when the captain is around. Maya winks at you. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the captain finally... Oh, wait. Hmm. Oh, this is the captain of Kana's ship. The captain finally manages to push his way to the railing, and bows stiffly at the waist. Clear skies, Lyle, and well done. 
We'll see to the port's defenses. The Rowatine soldiers gathered on deck, where heavy brigandine and blades that glint and flash at their sides. They look ready for anything. Who are you? We're the Recrupa. Oh, shit. The Rukwapa. Krupa? The Rukwapa are an elite group of specially trained warriors who personally carry out the Ranganui's will. Most of them are barbarians, transmutation wizards, and chanters who specialize in overcoming larger forces. They are most often sent. Oh, barbarians. So it's. It canonizes their ability, their specialization in AoE. I see. They are most often sent with the vanguard to soften new territories for conquest, or to quell rebellion in troublesome provinces. As barbarians and wizards, they use their abilities to transform the battle. Wait, haven't I heard this before? Transform the battlefield to their advantage and then overwhelm their opponents. The wizards open great rifts in the earth to destroy entrenched defenses, turn the air to poison to divide and rout enemy units, and boil rivers to block retreats. Meanwhile, barbarians wear down enemy forces and lore college chanters strengthen allies and intimidate foes with songs of the unit's valor. In their tactical prowess, their mastery of warfighting techniques, and their tactical foresight, they exemplify many of Rawatai's key virtues. We serve as the Ranganui's most skilled warriors. The troops behind him cross their arms in unison. Kana follows suit a few seconds later, grimacing sheepishly. Hmm. Right, because he didn't care for... for a lot of the military goings-on, right? All right, he was very much an academic. All right, calm seas, farewell. He crosses his forearms over his chest as his ship pulls away. Oh, they're gone. Weird, are they at Crooksburg now? That's what it made... That's what it sounded like, didn't it? That they're all over Crooksburg. Hmm. Should we check that out? We're here. Let's check it out real quick. Let's see if they're it's, if it's actually occupied by RDC forces now. Holy shit. I was not expecting this. I just expected it to be empty for all of time, but that totally makes sense. It's a huge fort, right? All right, here we are back at Crookspur. So here's that merchant. No way, gunhawks and shit. Oh, fuck. Do they have anything to say? Atsura knew he told us you'd come through. It will be good to have another stronghold in the archipelago. Hmm. Jeez. They just kind of seized the initiative, didn't they? Let's see. Who all is here? It's good to have you among us, Watcher Nui. Oh, fuck. We didn't already commit to a side here, did we? Let's see. Let's head back into the fort main section here. Part of me feels like we should have retaken it as the Principe or something. I don't know. I guess in a way we've wrested it from the Principe. Though they weren't, yeah, they weren't necessarily associated with them. Okay, so there is no actual leader here. It's just a bunch of guards. Okay. Oh, I wonder if... If when we go see Atsura, if Atsura will move over there. Oh, fuck. Huh. Alright. Do you think maybe... Us... Fucking over Ferrante... Got us out of being able to side with the Principe, right? How we just slaughtered everyone here? Maybe. Maybe we can't side with the Principe now. Hmm. That's a fascinating twist, if that's true, because I was kind of counting on that. Ooh. I mean, I'm sure as hell not wanting to side with the RDC. All right. Back on the overworld map. Let's head on back to Nakataka. Is there anything else going on? No. All right. Fair enough. Let's head on over here. Let's see. We can just plot a course like that. Good. All right. Yeah, I'm... Hmm. If we fucked ourselves out of, like, a Principe ending? That's unfortunate. But I am also willing to totally go with the Hawana 
and like, I don't know, perform a coup d'etat. <laughs> Is that something we could do? <laughs> like do a coup against Queen Onikaza? Hmm. All right. Let's see, and we need to head over to the Brass Citadel. Here we are, and it is specifically Imperial Command Standard, right? Not lower. Let's see if we get another alert here for something. No. All right. Good. Head on over there. Great. All right. Here we are. Back at Imperial Command. Jeez, so many load screens this video. <laughs> Gonna be a lot of cuts I need to try and remember to do. All right. Wait, we need to speak with Atsura. Oh, fuck. I swear, if Atsura's back in... <laughs> Where is Atsura again? Oh, Jesus. Let's head on down here. Yeah, the Hazanui is not who we need to speak to. Is Atsura the dude down here, the weird dude? God, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming that the Hazanui will move over to Crooksburg, right? Into the command area or something? All right. Yeah, Atsura. Atsura glances at you with a surreptitiously mirthful expression. He looks like he's in on a fabulous secret. One he's about to share with you. It has been brought to my attention that you ousted the slavers from Crooksburg. Yeah, I did. You've done a noble thing. Oh, God, I love that. I went in there all bullheaded, ready to just just bringing down vengeance upon the slavers. Little did I know that certainly not as worse, but someone probably not as shady, but certainly quite shady would move in. Right. They would seize that opportunity. I really like that. He clasps you by the shoulders and tries out a warm smile. It almost looks real. Because of course they would do that. I like that they're making the move without me giving the go-ahead or on that or anything, right? Because, I mean, shit, they're about to be at war. They had long been a thorn in our side, but one we were hesitant to remove on our own. You've done us a considerable favor. He slips you a heavy purse. Oh, man. We have been incidentally helping the RDC a lot. Ooh, I like that it has been set up that way. Oh, what did you have against the slavers? <laughs> what a thing to say! What a thing to say. All right. Well, I am curious. Is... In Rawatai, is slavery outlawed? I'd assume so, right? Where isn't it... Where is, where is slavery legal in Aeora? Let's see, I'm glad I could be of service. I got rid of them for my reasons, not yours. Thousands suffered because of them. Of course I did something. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with this. Of course I did something. Indeed. Indeed. But the problem hardly begins or ends with the slavers. He raises his brows, waiting, watching to see if you're following. Oh, shit. I know exactly where this is going. Deadfire is a troubled place, beset by all manner of predation and lawlessness. Adventure stories blame it on the fury of Helia's storms and the hunger of Andra's beasts. He shakes his head in disgust. Historians like Maya's own dear brother would spin you a tale of isolation and trade booms. He also said that sharing knowledge and sharing cannon fire were as different as birds and foxes. All of that merely obscures the plain yet hard truth. The Juana lack the will to defend their homeland. God, I kind of like that it's this creep down here pulling a lot of the strings, right? Like, he's the one, like, he's not pulling the strings, but he's the one devising all of the plans. He's, like, coming up with the tactics that the Hazanui is carrying out. All right. I don't know. He, he just comes off as, like, a total skeezball. <laughs> He stops and looks up at you for the first time since hearing your explanation. He's recovering himself and waiting for your reaction. How do you figure that? I agree. They should have stopped this. You're being too hard on the Juana. Yeah, you're being too fucking hard on him. The world is a hard place. 
Should we make excuses for those who do not face its trials? I'm not sure. Maybe? But we should definitely try and help them rather than to be a fucking shithead about it. He shrugs. Maya pinches the bridge of her nose, because I'm being pro-Huana. Two thousand years ago, our people began the conquest of Rawatai. The land was new to us. Many of its inhabitants were better equipped. Hmm. He tenses his fingers and raises his eyebrows. But we overcame them. We were unified where they were scattered. And we were not content to huddle in cliff caves and subsist. We were determined to make a better life for ourselves. Ooh, ooh, I hate this. Ooh, this leaves something rotten in my mouth. All right, where are you going with this? Sounds like you stole land and livelihood from a lot of people. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah. Who were the original inhabitants who were better equipped of Rawatai? What? Yeah, because they must have come from the dead fire, right? Isn't that how it went? Here, let's see. Will it tell us? The powerful naval kingdom of Rawatai is dominated by coastal Almawa and ruled by Aranga Nui. Currently the most prosperous of the old empires, Rawatai has expanded aggressively into the dead fire archipelago to secure natural resources that are scarce in their native storm-torn land. Though folk, dwarves, and orlins can be found in Rawatai, most are merchants or remnants of the old kingdoms. Oh, shit. Ra from the old kingdoms, Rawatai conquered when they seized power centuries ago. Legends say that the Rawatians came to their lands from the Deadfire Archipelago in the wake of a terrible cataclysm. Yeah, we totally know about that. But the details of that event have been lost to time and the imagination of the storytellers. Hmm. So was it just an amalgamation of different peoples living in Rawatai? Like, uh, different folk, which I believe is humans, right? Dwarves and Orleans? Fuck, because, yeah, where are... Or do Orleans have, like, some sort of... Certainly there is... There are locations. And I think the dwarves are, are mostly the... No, 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 no. Because the Almao, of course, with the dead fire. But dwarves have, like, the boreal area, right? And I think there's also places for ice elves or snow elves. Something like that. And folk tend to be from Adir, right? Places of origin. I mean, by now, a lot of it has mixed up, right? A lot of the, the race, or species, I guess you would say, right? Yeah, you would say, technically, I think the game defines them as races, but you would technically say species, Right, and then races would be like coastal Almawa versus island Almawa. That would be different races, right? Anyway, semantics aside, seman it's unimportant semantics, right? But um, I wonder if that's where Orleans originated from. Because we don't really have any sort of specific place that is very Orlin in nature. Like, what is, what is Orlin culture? Have we seen anything like that? Huh. I don't know that we have. Have we? What kind of Orleans are there? I'm, I have no idea. There's... I think there's woodland Orleans? Or am I thinking of woodland elves like myself? Huh. Oh, fuck me. That's very interesting. All right. Okay, well, let's see. And we were not content to huddle in cliff caves and subsist. We were determined to make a better life for ourselves. Where are you going with this? Sounds like you stole land and livelihood from a lot of people. The people who made that journey and established Rawatai did what they had to. What's your point? The Juana don't have to be warriors to deserve happiness. Hmm. I like both two and four. Right? I feel like if, if we say... Sounds like you stole land and livelihood from a lot of people who hit us with some like Manifest Destiny bullshit. I mean, I feel like he'll have a shitty retort for anything we say, right? Yeah, let's go with this. Sounds like you stole land and livelihood from a lot of people. Were we less deserving of these things simply because we arrived later? You could have not fucking conquered them. <laughs> a hint of anger flares in his voice and flashes in his eyes. Besides, the country we built was stronger. 
with roads, irrigation, and weather guards. For us, as well as the people, we organized. Oh my god, he is fucked. Oh, he is... He is so fucked up, it is almost delicious how fucked he is. He is like, ooh, just the stinkiest poop. Ooh, so, so stinky, so succulent. He blinks, quickly collecting himself and forges ahead. He's kind of, he's kind of a pretty interesting villain, right? The aliens and the Principe will tear dead fire asunder, and the Juana will stand by and let it happen. So, we must do everything we can to defend the archipelago and its people. He stands a little straighter, drawing his shoulders back. We shall ensure that the slavers do not return by stationing one of our most elite fleets at Crooksburg. He watches you as he explains this, eyes searching your face. Why are you telling me this? That's prudent. If you had those ships... Why didn't you send them against Crooksburg yourself? That seems aggressive. Ooh, inside check of 11. Fuck, we're only 9. Alright. Why didn't you send them against Crooksburg yourself? Because they... <laughs> the fucking gig economy! They hired me like fucking... The gig economy team watcher! <laughs> Alright. Why didn't you send them against Crooksburg yourself? And give the Valians and the Juana cause to unite against us? No. Ooh, God. His delivery is so... Ooh, I hate you, Atsura. In any case, our attentions are now focused on Sayuka for now. I'm sure the Hazanui will summon you when the time is right. After all this time, I still don't understand who you are or what you believe in. Yo, he's he's got like a major superiority complex, right? You seem different from the rest of the Royal Deadfire Company. Hmm. Let's say this, after all this time, I still don't understand who you are or what you believe in. He watches you, with that blank but thoughtful stare you've come to recognize. In the tiny movements of his eyes, you can see him sizing you up, deciding how much to tell you. At last, he smiles, faintly. Who we are... What does this even mean? Why the search for permanence in a transient existence? One day, our bodies will perish and our souls will return to the wheel. Every word we've ever spoken, everything we've ever known will be forgotten with us. His expression is one of distant amusement, as though these notions are no more troubling than the far-off clamor of crowds. But this... This will remain. He spreads his hands, surveying the solid, precise stonework around him. Prolonging the soul is a fool's errand. Clinging to a grand past is vanity. I want to take part in building something that will last beyond me. That is true immortality. He smiles, calm satisfaction narrowing the corners of his eyes. That's... interesting. I agree. It's important to do great things with the time we have. You are an amoral, unprincipled lunatic. Even these things will crumble eventually. Be careful. You don't know what future generations will make of your legacy. Let's see. I want to call him out. He seems like totally fucked up, right? Hmm. I'm, I'm down with making him mad. Like, this is just a straight-up insult. And I think maybe I want to just straight-up insult him. Yeah, you're an amoral, unprincipled lunatic. I am whatever the rough country needs me to be. Ooh, fuck. If your words bother him at all, it doesn't show on his face. But you and I have much to do and little time to discuss philosophy. Rough country. An affectionate Rawatayan term for their homeland, rough refers to both the unyielding rocky soils and the storms that batter the mainland. Yeah, this, fucking Atsura is like a fucking hardcore Rawatayan nationalist. Holy shit. Oh my god. What a fucking skeezball. Alright. Farewell, you piece of shit. I'm fine with him. He's straightforward to me. 
Are we what? talking about the same oh. Atsura? Let's see. Oh, they they were done. All right. I get along fine with him. He's straightforward to me. Are we talking about the same Atsura? Hmm. Dude, is Atsura going to turn out to be like the main villain? He's he, he's like my currently most hated person at the moment, right? For a while, it was Queen Onikaza for her just kind of sweeping so much inexcusable bullshit under the rug. But dude, Atsura seems fucking evil, man. <laughs> All right, does the Hazanui have anything else to say? You look like you've come with a purpose. Farewell. All right. Oh, shit. Dude, I really like the writing of his character, right? Ooh, he's so deliciously fucked up. All right, Brass Citadel. Where else do we need to go now? We turned in the stuff to Castol. We turned in the stuff with the RDC. Do we have any other quests that we need to tend to? I don't think so. I think we might be good to go and do... Hmm. We could continue on... No, we have that Bacarna's whatever, right? We have to go to the observatory, and once we have gone to the observatory, we're supposed to hang on to that quest before we continue on with the main quest. Right? I believe so. And I think we're supposed to go also to... Ashen Maw? Yeah, we're supposed to go to Ashen Maw... And then we're supposed to be in the middle of Bacarna's Folly, I believe. In order to get the most out of the DLC. Hmm. Alright. Exciting stuff. Okay. When next we come back, I think we'll do this. We'll go to the observatory. Right? Yeah, totally. I'll double check all that stuff, right? with when the exact best time is for beginning the DLC and stuff, because, like I said, there was something to do with, like, maximizing reactivity to your uh, events that you've done in the main story and all that. Fuck. Ooh, it's getting good, huh? It, it's it, Things are heating up here. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other.